everybody. Thanks for watching the BSO Gun Channel. We are here at SHOT Show 2016. We are here visiting our good friend Troy from Midwest Industries. We've got some new stuff. Yeah, we do. We've seen a lot of the new stuff come out. It's dropped here at SHOT Show. They got to see a forward look at all of it uh, kind of on the channel there, all the new mounts and all that stuff, including the GoPro mount that you didn't send to me for some reason. No. I don't know why. Camera kid didn't send the camera kid the GoPro. I don't know. But anyway, gun stuff. Yeah. Sure. Yes. What do we got? This is our new handguard for the Ruger Precision Rifle. Um, we got two different lengths, a 15 and an 18 inch. Um, this is seven sides uh, M-Lock. Uses our proprietary barrel nut and torque plate system. Um, typically, we're running the 15s on the 308 guns, and the 18 inch handguard looks real good on the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor or the 243. Um, they have a lot longer barrels. Yeah. So, 18 inch handguard is the longest handguard we've ever made. Really? So, and I really like these ones because of the, just the versatility that it offers. You know, we've seen these on the AR 15s. You know, we did several videos with the new AR 15 handguards. Not this version, though. This is an SP. This, are, this is a larger diameter. This is something totally new. Right, exactly. It's a little bit wider. To yep, fit, a little bit bigger. On, yep, fit on this absolutely. Guy. But it's the same basic concept. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Um, these handguards, as far as retail goes, just to fill you in on that, they're right around 200 to 220 for the longest version. So they're still pretty affordable. Yeah, that's pretty competitive. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. 6061, hard coat anodized, T mark for accessory location. Pretty much what we do with all our handguards. You want to put a D ball that we are on Yep, you can do it very rigid for bipod attachment, that kind of stuff. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, I'll show you the SP handguard if you guys want to see that. This is the AR15 SP handguard. We came out with this handguard, and this is a 12 inch version. Um, with the popularity of suppressors right now, everybody's got to have a suppressor. Um, this handguard, the internal diameter is 1.75, so you can run a 1.5 inch suppressor internally and still be able to use all the M lock slots effectively. So you have clearance to move the locking nuts and everything that's, without having to remove the suppressor. That's awesome because that, taking those kind of considerations into, into effect, not a lot of manufacturers are doing that because as far as the civilian market is concerned, the commercial market, there hasn't been up to this point the draw for suppressors in our market. And now you're starting to see it and you're starting to see some conflicts with some of the rails that are out. Yeah, and that's why we designed this handguard around M-Lock and around the most popular diameters of the suppressor for like 300 blackout or 308. Uh, this handguard, 6061 hard coat anodized, T marked again, torque plate that attaches it with the barrel nut. It's not going anywhere, it's patent pending. Um, the lengths on this are 7, 9, 10, 12, 15, and 18 inches. Man, you got it full of length. You have all the all the options of lengths, and it's going to be an FTE and black. So let's talk about that for a second. So if you've got, say you've got a gun, and it's, uh, let's pick a 14.5 inch barrel. Sure. Like that, 5.6 gun, or maybe it's a 9 inch 300 blackout gun, and you're running it unsuppressed, you know, until you get your cannon. Sure. Right? You can run a 7 inch, or, a, or what was the, the one? Seven, uh, 7, 9, 10, 12, 15. Yeah, you can run one of those. One of those. You get your cannon, now you can put the, the 18, or something like that on it and run your handguard all the way out from that suppressor. You bet. And these things are real easy to mount and demount. If you have a can that's permanently attached, like say a new uh, Surefire Genesis, great can. Um, if you want to take your handguard off, you remove the bolts, drop the torque plate out the bottom, slide the handguard off, and you can get at your facets on your suppressor to loosen or tighten the can right on your barrel. So it's really easy on and off of the hand. Yeah, and that's, again, considerations, thinking up here, up there, on Midwest Industries. We're trying. <laughs> yeah, very, very cool, man. That's that's a great addition to life. Thanks. Yeah. Awesome. Troy, 
Thanks, Thanks very much for taking some Absolutely. time to talk to us. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to have to get some of these in for us, uh, because we got some suppressed guns. You know, that, uh, we'll get them to you. We, I burned a glove the other day, completely <laughs> destroyed it. You know? Oh, well. Thank you again. Thanks for watching BSO's coverage of Shot Show 2016. Check out Midwest Industries, and catch you guys in the next video.